Ever find yourself scratching your head, trying to figure out how to manage your money effectively? Welcome to the club! You're not alone in this financial jungle where budgeting can feel like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. But what if there was a map to help you navigate? A simple yet effective rule of thumb to take the guesswork out of budgeting. Enter the 40-40-20 budget rule. This intriguing formula isn't a secret code or the latest lottery numbers, it's a straightforward approach to budgeting that could potentially turn your financial life around. Picture this, a life where you have a clear roadmap to your expenses, savings, and even that much-deserved, treat-yourself splurge. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, it's time to wake up to financial clarity. If you're tired of playing the guessing game with your finances, stick around. Today we're breaking down the 40-40-20 budget rule. So, what exactly is this 40-40-20 rule we're talking about, you might wonder? Well, it's a budgeting principle that helps you manage your income effectively, and it's as simple as dividing a pie, but instead of pie, it's your income. The 40-40-20 budget rule breaks up your income into three broad categories, 40% for necessities, another 40% for financial goals, and the remaining 20% for discretionary spending. Now let's dissect this a bit, the first 40% of your income is allocated for necessities. These are the things you can't live without. We're talking about housing, food, utilities, transportation, and healthcare. These are the non-negotiables, the bare essentials, the I absolutely need these to survive kind of expenses. The next 40% is for financial goals. This could be anything from saving for a rainy day, investing in your favorite stocks, paying down debt, or contributing to your retirement fund. This part of your income is all about securing your financial future and it's just as important as the first 40. The remaining 20% of your income is for discretionary spending. This is your fun money, your treat yourself fund. It's for those non-essential items like dining out, going to concerts, or splurging on that pair of shoes you've been eyeing. But where does this rule come from? It's not some random number game, I promise. The 40-40 rule is a time-tested budgeting method that provides a balanced approach to managing your money. It allows for meeting your basic needs, planning for the future, and enjoying the present. The rationale behind this rule is to create a sense of financial balance and stability. It's about making sure you're living paycheck to paycheck, but also not depriving yourself of enjoying your hard-earned money. Simple, right? But how does this rule apply in real life? Let's dig in. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks. Let's break down this 40-40-20 rule and see what it means for your wallet. Firstly, we have the initial 40%. This is the chunk of your income that goes straight towards necessities. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about your Netflix subscription or that gym membership you swear you'll start using next month. No, no, no. I'm talking about the real bare bones stuff. Your housing, your utilities, groceries, transportation, and healthcare. These are the expenses that keep your life running on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're wondering where rent, electricity, water, food, your bus pass, or health insurance fit into your budget, Look no further than this first 40%. Moving on to the next 40%, we're talking about your financial goals. This isn't as dull as it sounds, I promise. This is where your dreams of a secure future come to life. We're discussing savings, investments, debt repayment, and retirement contributions. You might be thinking, but I'm too young to think about retirement. Trust me, the earlier you start, the better. And let's not forget about paying off those student loans or credit card debts. This 40% is your ticket to financial freedom. Last but certainly not least, we have the final 20%. This is the fun part, the section of your budget that's all about you. Want to dine out? Go for it. Dreaming of that new gaming console? Save up and make it happen. This 20% is for discretionary spending, which essentially means it's your play money. It's for all those non-essential items that bring joy to your life. So, to recap, the first 40% is for necessities, the second 40% is for your financial goals, and the remaining 20% is for your personal enjoyment. Each of these categories plays a crucial role in maintaining your financial health, offering a balance between meeting your basic needs, planning for your future, and enjoying the present. Now that we've got the basics down, how can you make this rule work for you? Great, you've got the theory. Now how about some practical tips? Here's how you can make the 40-40-20 budget rule work for you. First off, remember that the 40-40-20 rule is a framework, not an exact science. Don't get caught up in the numbers. If your necessities are taking up more than 40% of your income, don't panic. The key is to aim for balance. Next, it's time to get organized. Start by categorizing all your expenses into three buckets. Necessities, financial goals, 
and discretionary spending. This will give you a clear picture of where your money is going. Then, work on adjusting the percentages to fit your individual financial circumstances. For example, if you're a student with a part-time job, your necessities might take up more than 40% of your income. That's okay. Adjust the percentages to suit your needs. Once you've got your categories sorted, it's time to track your expenses. This might sound like a chore, but trust me, it's worth it. You can use a simple spreadsheet or there are plenty of budgeting apps out there that can do the heavy lifting for you. Now here's the real secret sauce. Adjusting is necessary. Life is unpredictable and your budget should be flexible enough to handle that. Got a raise at work? Great. Adjust your budget to put more money towards your financial goals. Unexpected medical bill? No problem. Adjust your budget to accommodate that. The 40-40-20 rule isn't about sticking to strict percentages. It's about giving you a framework to understand your spending, prioritize your financial goals, and make informed decisions about your money. So start implementing these tips and strategies today. Remember, your budget is a tool to help you reach your financial goals, not a straitjacket to restrict your spending. Make it work for you, and you'll be well on your way to financial success. Remember this rule is a guideline, not a strict mandate. Adjust as needed to fit your unique financial situation. It sounds good, but what are the pros and cons of the 40-40-20 rule? Let's dive into the benefits first. The 40-40-20 rule has a lot going for it. It's simple, straightforward, and easy to remember. Its greatest strength lies in its ability to provide a clear structure for your financial life. It gives you a tangible framework to work within, offering a sense of control and predictability. One of the biggest benefits is promoting financial stability. By allocating 40% of your income to necessities, you ensure that your basic needs are met. This creates a safety net, helping you avoid financial pitfalls and stress. The next 40% goes to your financial goals. This can be anything from paying off debts, saving for a rainy day, investing for your future, or planning for retirement. This systematic approach helps you stay focused on your long-term objectives, making it easier to reach them. Lastly, the 20% for discretionary spending allows for flexibility and enjoyment. It gives you the freedom to enjoy your income without guilt. This balance between discipline and indulgence is a key aspect of maintaining a healthy financial lifestyle. But, as with anything, the 40-40-20 rule isn't without its considerations. One potential challenge is that it may not suit everyone's unique financial circumstances. For example, if your necessary expenses exceed 40%, or if you have significant debt, you might need to tweak the percentages. Another consideration is that it requires discipline and commitment. It's easy to stray from the plan, especially when unexpected expenses crop up or if your income fluctuates. So, how do you overcome these challenges? The key is flexibility. Adjust the rule to fit your specific needs. Maybe your necessities take up 50%, or your financial goals require more than 40%. That's okay. The rule is meant to be a guideline, not a rigid structure. And remember, tracking your expenses is crucial. It helps you stay on top of your budget, making necessary adjustments along the way. It's also important to revisit your budget periodically to ensure it aligns with your changing life circumstances and financial goals. Like any financial strategy, the 40-40-20 rule isn't one-size-fits-all, but it can be a great starting point for budgeting novices and seasoned pros alike. So, there you have it. The 40-40-20 rule in a nutshell. We've unpacked this financial framework, revealing how it breaks down your income into three simple categories. Necessities, financial goals, and discretionary spending. 40% for the must-haves, another 40 for your future aspirations, and the final 20 for the fun stuff. This rule is not just about numbers and percentages, it's about cultivating financial discipline, making strategic decisions, and taking control of your money. It's about shifting from reactive spending to proactive planning. It's about balance and flexibility, allowing you to adjust the ratios according to your unique financial circumstances, goals, and lifestyle. Remember, the first step towards financial success is taking control. So why not give the 40-40-20 rule a try? You might be surprised at what you can achieve. After all, budgeting is not about restricting your spending, but about making your money work for you. Now that you have the financial nugget, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You won't want to miss our future videos packed with valuable financial tips and strategies. Your journey to financial empowerment starts here and we're here to guide you every step of the way. Remember, your thumb up and subscription helps us create more useful content like this. So, go ahead, 
Click that like button, hit subscribe, and join us in the journey to financial freedom.